We all want kids to thrive, but meeting the needs of kids facing challenges in our communities can be a tough nut to crack. Policymakers and program administrators need accurate and comprehensive data in order to make the best decisions with limited resources. Frequently, the data that would help them to make the best decisions exists, but the catch is it may be spread out among various local government agencies and systems. Imagine knowing that you could be helping improve children's lives, but the data you need belongs to another agency that is working toward the same goals, but neither of you share data, so you're not getting access to the fuller big picture. You could try to conduct your work with only part of the picture, or you could reinvent the wheel by duplicating the work of your colleagues. But what if there was a way to securely share useful data so that everyone can focus on improving the lives of our children and families? The good news is, it exists. It's called IDS, an integrated data system. IDS systems are being developed by more and more states and local communities seeking innovative solutions. How exactly does it work? It's a partnership among agencies that share a set of ground rules and agreements. Together, the organizations decide what kind of data makes sense to share, where the data will be housed, and guidelines around how the data will be used. Wondering if public agencies serving your community could participate in an IDS even with private data? Here's what you can get. The identifying information of individuals is actually removed from the datasets, allowing for secured privacy, because integrated data systems are all about identifying the big picture outcomes and trends, so you will know where services are needed. These systems are available, and it's time that agencies that serve children and families had access to these critical insights. And integrated data systems are able to leverage the information that is already being collected anyway into powerful insights that can help kids succeed and make systems more effective. Take, for instance, Cuyahoga County, Ohio. A group of public and private stakeholders used key IDS findings to develop a new programming and funding model to help homeless women who have children in the child welfare system. Or Wisconsin where data drawn from an IDS showed that a child support enforcement policy was actually increasing the amount of time children spent in foster care. By applying IDS findings, the state is working on policy change that will help families to reunite more quickly. Without the IDS, the unintended effect wouldn't have been possible to prove. From helping children and families, to investing money wisely, to helping you better do your work and improving the well-being of your community, how can IDS help children and families in your community or state? For more information on how integrated data systems have improved policies and programs for children and where to find resources, visit the Annie E. Casey Foundation at aecf.org IDS.